This is the birthplace and childhood home of Edith Bowling Wilson, and today it looks very much like it did when the Bowlings lived here from 1866 to 1899. Originally, in the 1840s, this was two houses. They were joined together, which connected the upstairs bowling home. The downstairs was used as retail space. Uh, the upstairs was the home of the bowlings. This is the original front door to the bowling home. This is where the bowling family would have entered. Uh, let me take you inside. This is the birth room of Edith Bowling Wilson. This was the bedroom of her parents. Um, she was the seventh of 11 children born to the Bowlings. Uh, she was one of uh, over 20 family members that lived upstairs in the Bowling home. Two of the most um, interesting pieces that we have are the Bowling cradle, the cradle that belonged to the Bowling family, uh, the cradle that their children uh, would have slept in. The other piece is uh, a child's chair that we know was uh, actually up here in the Bowling home. We can just imagine all the bowling children sitting in the chair. The cover is original and we're so pleased that it hasn't been uh, recovered over the years. This is the bedroom of um, uh, Grandmother Bowling. And we know that uh, Edith Bowling as a little girl slept in the room with her grandmother. Uh, her grandmother was uh, an invalid and had uh, back problems and she was quite spoiled by her grandmother. She was her grandmother's favorite but along with that came the responsibility of being her caregiver. This is the back sleeping porch. This is where Edith would gather with her family where they would enjoy evenings together. I think one of my favorite pictures is the picture of young Edith at age 13. She's actually sitting on a stool in this corner she has her books in her lap, and we're very fortunate to have this picture of her. We see what she's dressed like. We see her books. We see how her hair is fixed. Uh, uh, we see her in a place where she was very comfortable and spent a lot of time as a young girl. This is the library of her father, Judge Bowling. Edith's parents sent her to Washington, D.C. to keep her away from this older gentleman who was wishing to court her. They sent her to her sister in Washington, D.C. Uh, there she met and married her first husband, Norman Galt, and it really changed her life. Mm -hmm.